ABC 15 News at 11 starts now. Now at 11, President Obama is in Paris for the International Climate Change Summit. We'll tell you what he is asking of 195 countries. Plus, the accused Planned Parenthood shooter lived in a shack with no power, water, or sewage. Find out what else his neighbors said about him. And, oh, clothes and shoes are the order of the day on this Cyber Monday. I am, you can hear the excitement in my voice. We'll have more on what people are buying. Hello and good morning. I'm Christine Belport. Ashley is off. Well, a wet start to our work week earlier today. But a warming trend, so to speak, it is Wisconsin, uh, is on the way later in the week. Charlie has more on that and what we can expect for the rest of today and tonight. Hey, Charlie. Hello. Uh, we'll be above normal on the high temperature and the low temperature today, but it's certainly not going to be a pleasant day by any stretch. Clouds, a breeze, and uh, occasional showers. There aren't going to be uh, a whole lot uh, of heavy rain showers, but uh, just some light showers here and there through the afternoon into tonight. Things may pick up a bit this evening, though, as low pressure moves in from the southwest. Uh, chance of some rain and snow into tomorrow as well, though. It will be very, very light and spotty for tomorrow. Beyond that, sunshine returns as do warmer temperatures. And we'll talk a little bit more about the end of the week forecast coming up in just a few minutes. Very good, Charlie. Thank you. Now to Colorado Springs, where the man suspected of killing three and injuring nine in a shooting rampage Friday at Planned Parenthood is set to make a court appearance. Here's NBC's Miguel Amaguer. He lived in deep isolation. Robert Deere's dilapidated trailer in the middle of nowhere, 65 miles away from the crime scene. Even in the small town of Hartzell, few knew him. I just looked like a mountain man, like a dude living off the grid. Reportedly a college graduate, Deere had previously lived in North Carolina in a shack with no electricity, water, or sewage system. Neighbors say he rarely spoke to anyone and had never been charged with a violent crime. He's coming out, he's got the AK. Police say on Friday, Deer unloaded a steady, relentless volley of gunfire at a Planned Parenthood in Colorado Springs. The standoff lasted five hours. We're going to show that again, show that again. Nine were injured, three killed. Up a shot. Police officer Garrett Swayze, a former champion figure skater who trained with Nancy Kerrigan, leaves behind his wife and two small children. He was willing to do whatever it took to lay down his life. And that's the man he was, a man of integrity. Jennifer Markovsky, a mother of two, was at Planned Parenthood with a friend. Her father writing, life was too short, my beloved daughter. Kier Stewart, an Iraq veteran, the father of two young girls, was at the clinic with his girlfriend. She is pregnant with a child he'll never meet. He took my only brother from me. That's the only brother that I had. And he took that away from me. This is hard, but I forgive them. Planned Parenthood executives now believe they were targeted because they offer abortion services. Security stepped up at some clinics after so much bloodshed. It's a tragedy. It's a worldwide tragedy. And that was Miguel Amaguer reporting. Detectives have not released a motive for the shooting, but law enforcement sources say after Deere was taken into custody, he did ramble on about President Obama Politics and abortion saying no more baby parts. New at 11, a Watoma man is dead following a car crash in Columbia County happened Saturday morning along I-90. This was near Portage. The driver of a Chevy Malibu crashed into the median, rolled the car several times. 34-year-old Avaristo Calzada, a passenger, was killed. The driver and one other passenger were injured but are expected to survive. Authorities say alcohol and speed were contributing factors. In our continuing coverage now, President Obama is in Paris hoping to convince the world to take a stand on climate change. NBC's Tracy Potts is following today's developments from Washington. What we're seeing here is an outpouring of determination from Parisians to be heard nonetheless. Amid silent protest and clashes with police, Nearly 150 world leaders are arriving in Paris this morning. President Obama is hoping to convince them to cut greenhouse emissions. We salute the people of Paris for insisting this crucial conference go on. An act of defiance that proves nothing will deter us from building the future we want for our children. 
he'll likely face tough opposition back home. It is delusional for President Obama and Hillary Clinton and anyone else to say that climate change is our near-term most severe security threat. I hope while he's talking about climate change in Paris, he's also talking about how can the NATO forces and the U.S. coalition's uh, forces and possibly the Russians work to defeat and destroy ISIS. Potential sticking points include whether big countries like France and the U.S. have a greater responsibility, dealing with oil-rich countries like Saudi Arabia, and who pays to help developing nations clear the air. Tracy Potts, NBC News, Washington. Visitation will be held today for the McFarland police officer who was killed in a car accident last week. 33-year-old Ryan Copeland died in a head-on collision last Monday in the town of Albion. Today's visitation will be at Whitcomb Lynch Funeral Home in Janesville starting at 2. The funeral will then be held tomorrow at First Lutheran Church also in Janesville. A bond hearing is set for today for the Chicago police officer who killed 17-year-old Laquan McDonald. Dashcam video showed McDonald being shot 16 times. Officer Jason Van Dyke's lawyer said the officer opened fire when he saw McDonald had a knife. The DNR predicts hunters killed more deer during this year's gun deer season compared to last. The agency reported hunters registered more than 175,000 deer through the first seven days of the nine-day season. That includes almost 86,000 bucks and nearly 90,000 antlerless deer, 191, 550,000 deer registered by hunters in last year's gun deer season. Final deer harvest report by the agency is expected early this week. Happening today, Cyber Monday is in full swing. A lot of bosses looking the other way today as millions log on and look for the best deals online. Many will do their cyber shopping with Amazon and Jay Gray at one of the retailers' fulfillment centers in New Jersey shows us what happens when you place your order. The Cyber Monday lines are packed and moving right now. Miles of conveyor belts shuttling holiday orders at Amazon, where like many retailers, they anticipate this will be the busiest Cyber Monday ever. Uh, we do expect today to be a record. This is part of a season of deals for us, uh, with Black Friday and Cyber Monday being the two big days. But Cyber Monday is the king, and it is going to be the biggest day of the year for us. Cyber Monday shoppers are expected to spend $3 billion or more, up 12% from last year. And that doesn't include those who logged in early. According to the National Retail Federation, more people shopped online than stood in line on Black Friday, a trend according to a survey from SAS, driven by convenience, value, and the ability to compare prices and search for better deals. You can save on those great high-ticketed items, appliances, electronics, uh, high-end accessories. Electronics are by far the biggest draw and could account for as much as 75% of today's online purchases. But then that kind of makes sense. High-tech shoppers buying high-tech on one of the highest volume shopping days of the season. Jay Gray, NBC News, Robbinsville, New Jersey. <laughs> Busy place.